Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is part two of my Catalina Offshore Products uh, purchase video. So a few weeks ago I bought uh, 10 pounds of sashimi grade salmon from Catalina Offshore Products and I did an unboxing video going over the three different salmons that I purchased. Um, it was basically the three different sashimi grade salmon uh, products that they offer, which is Canadian farm raised salmon. I bought six pounds of that. And then I bought two pounds of Faroe Island and two pounds of Mount Cook. Um, I did the unboxing video. Um, I was super satisfied with the shipping. It's overnight and it's free. If you spend $300 or more, it's typically $50. So I think it's definitely worth spending the $300. Um, overall impressions is I was impressed. I like the ease of navigation of their website as well as their uh, really quick shipping. Um, I also reordered more, which I'll go over here in a second, but um, the shipping's great. I ordered this week on a Wednesday and I received it on a Thursday can't ask for any better than that as long as your order is received by I think 11 p or 11 a.m uh, pacific standard time you get your order the next day if you want so obviously that applies to only if your shipping takes place so you can't order it on Saturday and get it on a Sunday but if you order it on a Monday you can have it on a Tuesday um, as far as the fish goes uh, after making that video I went to put everything away in the deep freezer and I realized that uh, the plastic on about half of my salmon was disrupted so i had to reseal it which wasn't a big deal for me i just cut the bag open and it comes on this like you know it sits on this uh piece of uh i don't know cardboard that tells you what it is whatever um so an 8 by 12 uh pre-made bag is the exact size that they use apparently because it fits like a glove so it wasn't a big deal for me and if you have a food saver it wouldn't really be a big deal um, the fish is frozen, so I wasn't really upset about it, like the seal being broken. Um, if I had bought fresh fish, I might have been more bothered by it, you know, maybe because it would introduce whatever's in that box into your fish. And uh, since I'm eating it raw, I don't want it contaminated with anything. So um, the other thing to consider, though, is it may have been damaged just from the, the packages. They're frozen and hard. They could be bumping around uh, during shipping. And since they're uh, frozen, they could probably damage the other bags that are in the packet, you know, in the box. Um, they do package everything with uh, like packing peanuts as well as dry ice. So I'm sure they do the best they can to prevent that from happening. But that would be my wild guess as to how that took place. Um, so there's really no fault of their own. Um, so anyway, like I said, my, my solution was just to, to cut the bags open and reseal them. Just takes a few minutes not a big deal and you might not even have had to do that if you're doing frozen because you're you know probably eating it relatively quickly but if you wanted long-term storage you absolutely want to reseal it just so you don't have freezer burn and whatnot so anyway that was the only other thing that i found wrong with the products as far as the tasting goes um i ended up going through the 10 pounds much faster than i thought the plan was to eat a pound a week um and then i thought for sake of giving you an accurate review of what I thought I'd have to eat them like back to back. So I ended up doing the back to back with all three, uh, two weeks in a row. And then I think like, a, you know, I kind of was eating like two, two pounds a week after that. So anyway, um, I went ahead and placed another order just because I was getting like down to like two pounds and, uh, wanted to make sure I had, had more. Um, my overall impressions is the Canadian farm raised is, is really good. Um, the Faroe Islands, uh, is my favorite. Uh, the flavors, really rich um, it has like a buttery quality to it which is probably due to a higher fat content and then the mount cook was the leanest and uh, the most tender um, as far as color goes the uh, farm raised uh, is on your is here and this is the Faroe Island really uh, pretty similar in color um, and even visually in fat I mean the Faroe Island does look a little fattier um, but then the mount cook is a richer red color or orange so um i'm not really sure uh exactly why that is uh could just be where it's where it's raised in the diet that it's fed um it is leaner it's more tender um it's also the most expensive so the mount cook i believe was 39.99 a pound the faroe island was 35.99 a pound or 34.99 a pound and then like 25.99 a pound for the uh, farm raised these are all frozen and center cut skin off uh, so they're very comparable uh, in cut so there's a, a difference in about 15 pounds from the cheapest to the most expensive uh, me being a little on the frugal side 
um, if I was going to eat this on a regular basis, I would always reach for the uh, Canadian farm raised uh, just to save money. Um, however, if I could just pick one of these three and have it all the time, I would probably pick the Faroe Island. Um, I like the rich flavor and buttery butteriness that comes with it. Um, I thought overall it was my favorite. And then probably the Mount Cook. Um, it's just unbelievably tender. It also has a very rich flavor, even though it's not very buttery or fatty. Um, it's delicious. They were all really good. Uh, the Canadian farm raised uh, was delicious as well. It just wasn't as rich um, and not quite as tender, but still all three of them were outstanding. So it's kind of splitting hairs. I mean, there is a distinct difference between them, but if you're eating it, if I were to eat it every day, I would definitely go with like the Canadian farm raised. Um, I chose this time around to go ahead and purchase uh, uh, a little bit more of the Faroe Island. I went with three pounds of that this time, only one pound of the Mount Cook, and then six pounds, I think, uh, of the uh, Canadian. And then I also picked up some uh, bluegrass soy sauce aged in bourbon barrels. Um, this did leak a little bit in my shipping. Um, I went to, I'm gonna eventually reach out to them to see if there was any issue with that. Um, the glass bottle didn't break. I'm thinking maybe it froze. I don't know if soy sauce can even freeze, but the seal seems good, and I can't detect any leaking, but there was definitely leaking in the box, but not a whole lot was missing, as you can see, so probably nothing to be really concerned about. Um, so this is like some kind of, I don't know, artesian soy sauce. So anyway, wanted to give that a try. Um, so anyway, I, I liked it well enough to place a second order, and um, I would highly recommend, if you're interested in sashimi-grade salmon, um, give Catalina Offshore Products a try. Um, I like their free shipping if you spend the $300. It's overnight. Um, the packaging, I think, is good. You might have to uh, reseal a couple of them. You can buy it fresh, but then obviously you're kind of obligated to eat that right as soon as you get it. Um, I went with frozen so I can thaw it out and eat it as I want to. Um, so anyway, yeah. My overall experience was great. Uh, the one thing I didn't mention in the last video that I thought you guys should be aware of was that some of the packaging uh, did uh, uh, was compromised to some degree um, in shipping. Um, this second box, like I didn't do the unboxing because as you saw, it was kind of a pain to get everything out of the box. So I thought I'd just save myself the hassle and you guys too. Um, the um, this package, or this shipment was also 10 pounds, I believe, and uh, and I had two that had to get resealed. So, a little bit better than last time, but again, I don't think it's fault of the company at all. I think they just kind of bounce off each other in shipment, and uh, it's not like they were wide open. It was like little tiny, uh, you know, holes or whatnot that just broke the seal. So, I think that's kind of unavoidable maybe with, uh, you know, the way that it's shipped, but you know, frozen and whatnot. So um, anyway, that's all I have for you. Highly recommend the company. I'm gonna continue to order from them. Um, they do occasionally run some sales. Uh, I did get the uh, Canadian farm raised salmon this time around, 10% off. Um, last week, they had the Mount Cook 10% off, um, which would have been a better deal, obviously, uh, but due to like all the weather here in the Midwest, the snow, um, there was no uh, shipping to the Midwest, so I couldn't take advantage of that offer, unfortunately. But then the following week, which was this week, um, they had the, the, the Canadian farm raised on sale 10%, so whatever, it works out well. Um, so anyway, that's my overall impression. Um, highly recommend it. If you're interested in sashimi grade fish in general, they have tuna and they have all kind of other uh, sashimi grade or sushi grade fish. Um, go check them out, Catalina Offshore Products. I'll put a link in the description to their website. Um, I've had a great experience so far and it'll be my go-to uh, until I have a reason not to. So <laughs> anyway, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video.